Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, boys. Ooh. Take in that nostalgia. Oh. Bit of a world at war for you. How is it going, everyone? The Trout91 here for another Friday commentary. This time we've got a sexy little world at war gameplay. I do go 40 and free, I believe. Am I host? No, I'm not hosting this game, actually, funnily enough. Uh, yeah, I've been playing World at War. Obviously, a load of you saw the Prestige 1 montage for COD 4. Basically, the idea of that whole thing. If you didn't get it, is to play a Prestige on every Call of Duty and make a montage from it. Um, so, obviously, there's, there is seven Call of Duties with a Prestige system, I think. COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops... Uh, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Ghosts. Uh, and then once we're done with that, I'm not sure what I'll do. I might do a couple things. For example, the first being um, all the leftover clips I've got. I might make a little prestige montage out of it. So it'll be a little multi-cod kind of thing. Uh, and then once I've done that, I might decide to make a best of the prestige montage kind of thing. And then after that, who knows, I might even go back and do some more on the games, uh, depending on the feedback, because it seems like a kind of series that people can get behind, it's nice to do, um, and it's kind of like the trouted uh, thing that I used to do on my channel, which is like, you know, my little mini episodes of montages, usually on random games and stuff, uh, that I thought I might be able to throw in there. Give me a little bit more of a purpose, a little bit more, you know, kind of oomph to actually get through and do them regularly or something like that. Or I could do them on some different games because there is kind of like a ranking system on other games as well. Who knows? Let's see how it all goes out. It's up to your discretion. But that is why I'm playing World at War. I'm currently doing a World at War one. It's going not great because there the game is full of hackers just hackers 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 everywhere and there's so few people playing that you rarely ever get a full lobby so you're usually playing like 3v3 or 4v4 and you anyone who makes montages knows how difficult it can be to get clips when there's barely anyone in the actual game itself and that's a regular regular occurrence uh yesterday i actually had some good uh bit of luck it was actually because i was talking to josh and lucy and uh, a Skype call quite late at night, and then all of a sudden I was just getting clips left, right, and center. And I was like, oh, well, these guys are my good luck charm. Um, I was talking to them, just having a good time. We actually played some League of Legends, which I recorded, so I hopefully put a little video of that out at some point over the weekend, as well as a new My Legends. But rambling on for half of this commentary about things that aren't even to do with the Friday commentary itself, but the Friday commentary should be relatively quick and simple, so it's okay to just mumble for a little bit. Oh, big 20 kill streak there for the boys. Um, not playing against great players, I will admit that, but that is that. Uh, so today, arrogance is my topic of choice, mostly because last, last week, it seemed like this theme of people thinking that every there everyone's a critic everyone just knows better than everyone else and it, it really annoyed me like it started with people who watched the walking dead finale uh for the season everyone's like oh i've been waiting all season for that that was the worst ending to a season i've ever ever seen and i was just like whoa chill out that was actually a pretty good ending like not every single season can be just all out aggressive mischief and killing people because it just doesn't work all the time like it becomes completely pointless and drama is what makes those kind of series worth watching otherwise it's just mindless violence you might as well go play like zombies on this game for example if you want that kind of stuff look at this little play here just blind them duke them out get out of there and then i think this guy comes and i kill him but anyway um and then there was there was this one moment i put up my setup for work on twitter and if you haven't seen what my setup looks like, here it is on the screen for you now. <clears throat> and everyone was like, there's no way that many PCs and monitors are necessary. I believe there is seven monitors there and four PCs. And they are all useful. I'm not going to bother explaining what they all do because that would just take up a lot of time that I don't have left. But basically someone on Twitter and some people on Twitter... They didn't really understand why I had that many monitors and PCs, and they were just like, what? 
that can't all be necessary, that's completely stupid, that's a silly setup, what are you doing? And I'm just like, well no, just because you don't understand it doesn't mean that it's not worthy or not useful or I don't use them all, it's not necessary. It actually makes my life a lot easier having all those PCs and one eyes and it makes the production value a lot higher because I'm using them all. And I think people kind of forget because I'm a one-man production team at times that if you saw a pro proper production team, what they've got and all the things they have, it's insane compared to what I have. But it's it's just people were very arrogant. And I know what arrogance is because I'm one of the most arrogant people you're ever going to meet. And uh, it's not just them being correct, even though they seem to think blindly they are more correct than ever knowing. It's just the fact they're being arrogant. They don't accept things if they don't believe it's necessary or it doesn't look compute with logic with them. Like, if they can't understand something, or if what they, they're they used to is not the normal in another person's situation, they think it's stupid or silly, and that's just arrogance. That's blind arrogance, and people don't actually realize when they're being arrogant themselves, and it, it's frustrating to listen to and to acknowledge, and the only, you can't really do anything about it. You've got to try, I've tried my hardest with arrogant people to try and make them see my opinion, because I'm someone who respects opinions, no matter how silly I think it is, or how out of this world it is, or how blunt it is. I'm perfectly open to people's opinions, and I respect their opinion, as long as they respect mine. If they don't respect mine, well, I tell them to go stuff themselves, and then I start being arrogant and stubborn towards them. And stubbornness, I believe, is a major factor to arrogance. Uh, it's a major influencer. Because it's, it's very hard to meet someone who's stubborn and not arrogant. But yeah, I, and I also feel like it's a bit of fa fans, you know, a little bit of a fan base, a little bit of fame. Seems to do that to people, to make them arrogant. I don't really understand why. We're all human beings. We're all the same, really. There's no reason to be more arrogant than someone else. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the commentary. It was a little bit pointless, but that's what these Friday commentaries are about. If you missed the previous one, it's on the screen for you now. Missed a random video. Go check that one out, too. I'll see you later. Peace out.